In air, sound travels 343 meters per second. Did you know that sound travels faster in water? Sound travels 1,481 meters per second underwater. That's over four times faster. This is because the water is denser. Water molecules are packed closer together than air molecules. In a solid material, the molecules are packed even closer together than in a liquid, so sound travels even faster. In a diamond, sound travels 12,000 meters per second. Sound travels the slowest in gases, faster in liquids, and even faster in solids. Because sound travels faster and keeps its intensity longer underwater than it does in air, sounds are much louder underwater. Not only are they louder, but you cannot tell which direction they are coming from like you can when you're above the water. Instead, underwater, the sound is all around you. Since the water is denser and the sound is traveling faster, you cannot detect the difference in time that the sound reaches one ear versus the other like you can in air. The surface of the water, which is the boundary between the water and the air, reflects the sound waves back underwater. This is why sounds made underwater are more difficult to hear outside of the water. Not to mention, our ears are made to hear sounds in air, not water. The distance that sound can travel in the ocean actually depends on the pressure and the temperature of the water. If the temperature and pressure where the sound was emitted and travels stays constant, then the sound travels at the same speed. As the ocean depth increases, however, the water pressure increases, the temperature decreases, and the speed of the sound waves moves slower. Essentially, sound moves faster in shallow reefs than it does in the deep, open ocean. Many animals utilize sound underwater and for many reasons. Marine mammals have ears that are specialized for hearing underwater, unlike humans. One reason they use sound is for communication. Whales and dolphins have a language of clicks and whistles that they use to communicate with each other. The whistle sounds especially help them during mating season. Humpback whales are known for their mating songs, or their complex pattern of sounds that the males make. These songs can last for up to 20 minutes and can be sung for hours. What's even more fascinating is that all of the males in the pod, or group, will sing the same song together. Scientists have discovered that each whale and dolphin pod has their own dialect or unique sounds, so that way they can distinguish members of their own pod from other individuals. Another way that marine mammals utilize sound underwater is to find food. Not all animals have great underwater vision, so they must rely on other senses to help them locate food. Whales and dolphins use a type of biological sonar called echolocation. The clicks that whales and dolphins make are primarily used for finding food and determining their surroundings. When they click, the whales and dolphins then listen to the echoes of the click that return to them from any nearby fish and other objects. When they hear the echoes, they can determine and locate each object. Once they have located the fish, they are able to catch and eat it. Fish also utilize sound underwater to communicate with each other. Some fish, such as the freshwater drum in our Lake Michigan tank, can contract the muscles around their swim bladder to vibrate and produce a thumping or drumming sound. A swim bladder is an air sac in their abdomen that helps with buoyancy. This is why they are called freshwater drums. Males create these low-pitched sounds that travel long distances during mating season to attract females. Atlantic croakers also produce sounds with their swim bladders that create grunts or croaking sounds. The sound of a toadfish's swim bladder sounds similar to a foghorn. Other fish can use stridulation, the pressing together of their teeth or bones, to create sound. Channel catfish sometimes rub their rigid pectoral fins together to create sound. This sound is thought to be a distress call. Seahorses also use stridulation because the bony plates in their head rub together during feeding. This makes a clicking sound when they strike at their food. Mantis shrimps also make sounds by vibrating the muscles on the sides of their bodies. It is said to sound like roaring elephants. This sound is easily blocked by glass or acrylic tanks, so you won't hear our mantis shrimp, but the sound can be heard while scuba diving, usually in the mornings and early evenings. One sound that can be heard from our mantis shrimp tank is his striking punch. Mantis shrimps can punch as fast as a speeding bullet in order to stun their prey. All in all, many aquatic animals are highly adapted to produce, perceive, and utilize sound underwater.